Krohoses says there is a worrying trend of councillors abusing power, incidents of tribalism, victimisation and intimidation and cases of nepotism at workplaces. For instance, and we have got some of these evidences and we are working on them, some of the councillors are allocating land to each other at the expense of the community members that are on the waiting list, that have been waiting for this land and housing for years. Something that should come to an end. It's wrong, it's corruption, it's maladministration. There are also issues, and this issue is becoming alarming, where we are observing nepotism in the recruitment processes, especially when the CEOs, CROs, and the senior officials are to be appointed. So we are also really addressing and calling upon our leadership in the regional and local authority institutions to refrain from this. She also expressed concern over continued unfair demotions, suspension of employees, threats at workplaces, and contracts that are not renewed, which leads to low morale and a lack of productivity. And this occurrence is also alarming. The processes of suspension, the legal processes, and I am happy to announce that we have also taken through our office bearers and the management team as to what is required before you suspend a wrongdoer. I'm not saying, as a ministry, we are not saying do not suspend. If a act, the conduct of an official warrants for suspension, but do not just come the morning and just write a letter to that affected uh, a person you are suspended. No, they are legal processes and steps to be followed. The councillors were also called on to refrain from infighting and to start conducting the prescribed number of council meetings aimed to implement policies and development for their areas. The workshop was attended by newly sworn in councillors from all regional, local authorities and village councils, including their senior officials.